All right, so now that I have everything back out of here, um, you can see where the bearing actually was spinning inside of the caps here, the journals. Um, so that's not good. That tends to make for major problems, but hopefully we don't run into too many with this. I couldn't guarantee it, I told them. So the next thing we did put new races in here and we put another new race right there. So those are brand new. And the reason I use test bearings, these are the brand new bearings, and they're exactly the same as my test bearings. They are the same Timken model numbers. Same thing with this test, this bearing. So this is your front pinion bearing, this is your rear pinion bearing. Then you have a crush collar. Crush collars can only be crushed once. You have your actual nut. It has a locking as well as a sealing compound on it. Plus, it's a pinched nut, so it's a locking nut. So you can only use it once or else it may back out when um, they're driving. So that's only allowed to be used once. Then when you come over here, I'll show you what we have. That is our carrier. That is our ring gear. That is the pinion gear. This is the yoke for the pinion gear right here. And that's what you see when you look at the rear end. It sits like this. The drive shaft attaches to that. Under there, you have your spline. There's your spline. And they fit together. Then you have your oil slinger. My test gear right here or my test bearing, my um, front test bearing. And then this is your crush collar. And I'll show you against another crush collar how far it actually goes down. Um, this is my test crush collar. Then I have a setup bearing and you see how you can just slide it right off and then slide it right back on. So this way, if I need to take things apart so I can change my shims on the back side of the pinion, then I can. And these are the shims that I was telling you about. So there you go. That's the way all this goes together. That's what it looks like. These are my outer shims for my carrier. That's the driver's side. That's the passenger. So it, this one would go here. And this one would go here, and then the caps go over all of that. So there you go. And there's all the different shims you can put in there. And there are, this one's a little bit thicker, but you do have some that are almost paper thin, if not more than that. Let's see if I can get them to separate. There you go. There's a shim. That's about... 0 0.0005 um, thickness so that's what I move around to get this further or closer to this so in other words if you look under here there are my other shims that's one of the thick ones and then there's a couple of thin ones and it goes from there so very nice setup Everything is good. And hang on, and I'll bring you over to the new crush collar. And you'll be able to physically see the difference in the thickness and how much they crush. There you go. That's from the same kit, so you can see how much they actually crush down once you get them in. And it takes a lot to crush one of those down. And I will show you that three quarter inch 42 inch long bar is what we use to crush the collar down so that will go onto the pinion nut and that will go onto the yoke and then we use those to tighten everything up you can't just use a regular half inch breaker bar it will not work all righty guys i will talk to you in a little bit have fun okay bye Hey everybody, so we are now back together 
everything is in the way it's supposed to. I rechecked my preload on my pinion. I rechecked my gear run out and my gear pattern also. And everything looks absolutely perfect. It is just, it, this has come out really nice for what it was when we started. So we put the new seal in, as you can see right there, there's the new seal. There is your pinion yoke, which is what attaches to the drive shaft. There is your new nut, and everything is set the way it's supposed to be set. So there you go, this, this rear end is ready to be put back together, finished up, and done. So. I will bring you up to date as we go, guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Have fun. Okay, bye.